Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your no repeat legs and core workout. In this workout, we're gonna work the entire lower body. We've got legs, glutes, abs, obliques, hips, inner and outer thighs, and we'll keep your heart rate up for cardio. And we're gonna do it all with no repeats. I'll be working with dumbbells and kettlebells and throw in a mini band if you've got it. Just use what you have available to you, and of course, I'm gonna give you lots of options. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and let's start with just a little quick little march to get the blood flowing. You can shake the arms out, shake the legs out, roll those shoulders. We're going to have our first circuit actually be our warm up circuit. So our first circuit is only four moves, 45 seconds each, and they are mobility moves, mostly lower body and core. So we're going to get our bodies moving in that first circuit, but we're gonna make it our first circuit with some timed intervals rolling through right here. So, in this workout today, almost everything is gonna have three sets of 30 seconds, and it will be different variations on exercises that you know and love, but again, no repeat. So, within that, you are gonna have options. Most of it will be back to basics using our equipment, and then a variation as we go. Good little burn, should be over quickly. Let's start with our first mobility move. We're gonna get a side lunge into a hip roll. So roll the hip first, and then side lunge, stepping into it. You can get the arms moving with it too if you wanna get a big stretch out. We got 45 seconds at your own pace. Here we go. Hip roll into that side lunge. You decide how low you wanna get. What I want you to do is think about shifting the weight to the side, moving laterally. Again, if you wanna get those arms out, reach it up, roll it through. Arms out, reach it up, right through here. And here, warming up those joints, right here. Out and up. 10 seconds to go. And bring it up. One more, right through here. Now we're gonna get into a squat and a hinge. So you know it, we're just gonna have those hands behind the head, we're gonna sit low in the squat, and then we're gonna drive the hips back to the hinge. Remember, you're driving the hips back, you're not just bending forward. Hands behind the head to open up that chest. Let's do it. Squat, and then hinge. Soft bend in the knees on the hinge. Getting low, dropping the hips in the squat, and here. If you can't get as low, that's okay. Work to your level, something you're gonna hear me say a lot in this workout and all my workouts is be where you are today. So where you are in your journey, how you're feeling today, that's a reason that I give you lots of different options is because we're all on our own journeys, right? So I want you to have options. You do you. This is your workout, all right? We're just here to move our bodies, work our muscles, build some strength, build some endurance, and feel good, right? Last one, yes. Now we got that world's greatest stretch. Watch me, you can go from the top or the bottom, but we're gonna lunge it back. If you can, we're gonna drop it down, big reach, take it here, step it in, same thing, other side. You can switch from the top or switch from the plank. Here we go. So lunge it back. If you can get low here, reach it up, step it back in. Lunge it back, get low here, reach it up, step it back in. If you'd rather switch from the plank, watch me here, step it back. We got that plank coming on our last move. So it's totally up to you. Another option is to set that knee down. Sometimes I like that because I get a little more of that hip flexor stretch. So it's up to you, right through here, reach, and back, one more. All right team, meet me on the mat, either in the plank or all fours. If you need to, you can go child's pose, bring it up, and bird dog, or we're gonna go down dog, cross that knee in, bring it back. Join me right here, here we go, down dog, knee cross, so little pigeon stretch, and then up through here, so we get the core working, 
We get a little rotational movement in the torso. Again, if that's not right for you, child's pose. Bring it up, reach for the back and core. Stretch the back, reach for the back and core. Let's keep doing it. Here we go. And across. This is our last mobility move before we get in adding some heavy weights. And breathe. And here. Last one, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, team, so grab a quick sip of water if you need it. We're gonna jump in with our first round of exercises. We're gonna have a little lunge format. So again, 30 seconds followed by 30 seconds followed by 30 seconds. Dumbbells or kettlebell or body weight, watch me here. We're gonna start with a forward lunge. So I'm gonna go forward with my right foot. I'm gonna push out of it. Next, I'm gonna go backwards with my left foot. So that right leg is gonna be the forward foot all the time. So second round, reverse lunge for 30. Then right foot stays in the front, curtsy lunge for 30. So forward, reverse, and curtsy. We'll get right side, we'll get a breather, we'll get left side. We'll get, set those weights down in between. If you need more of a break, take a break. If you can, go heavy with me. Shoulders back. Again, you can keep this body weight. You can go dumbbell, two dumbbells, or one kettlebell. So right leg stepping forward on those train tracks in three, two, one. Here we go. Right leg forward. Drive out of it. Remember that it's okay to lean forward a little bit. As long as we keep that good posture, you can add a little hinge to it. What we don't want is a round of the back. If that forward lunge is not good for you or your knees, keep it stationary. That works too. Or remember that you can always do a little tap back. Drive it up. We got five seconds. Can we get one more right here? All right, team, left leg stepping, stepping back. Here we go. 30 seconds, followed by 30 seconds, followed by 30 seconds. Remember, you're stepping on those train tracks. So you're here and here. Remember, you can always just do a little tap back if that's better for you. Not get as low, you do you. Be where you are today. I know, that heart rate is getting up there. Are you ready? Curtsy. Same leg moving back, right leg stays forward, curtsy it here. Again, if that's not right for you, stick with the regular lunge, make it stationary, or do a little tap back. So many options. 15 seconds to go. Good burn, right? But remember, no repeat, except when we do it on that other side. But no repeat for that right leg. We got five, four, three, two, Burn, whoo, catch your breath. Set those weights down, shake it out, right? Whoo, yes team, there's that heart rate, right? All of that on the other side. So this time it's your left leg that will be in the front the whole time. Left forward lunge, right one steps back, left one stays forward for reverse, and then curtsy, all right? Grab those weights, get ready. It's gonna be over before you know it. Then we got some core. Forward lunge, left leg stepping forward on those train tracks. Let's do it. <sighs> Drive it up. Now, I know it's tempting. I want to do it too, of not get as low, right? We want to just kind of be here. And if that's where you need to be, that's okay. But if you can challenge yourself <sighs> as if you're going towards the floor with that back knee, with those weights. Again, keeping your back flat, but you can hinge forward a bit. Who burn? Yes, team. Can we get one more? That left leg steps forward. Now that right leg, reverse. Bring it up right here. Reverse, ha. Yes, you can. Whew. Burn and up. I know, I feel it too. Right here. Breathe. Five seconds and we're taking it to the curtsy. So hang with me. Then our legs get a break. Here we go. Curtsy. Tap it up. Remember, you can just tap back. You don't have to get super low if that's not right for you. But if you can, let's take it here. Drive it up. Yes. And up. You can do it. 10 seconds. Hang with me. Good burn. 
different movements, different ways to do the lunge. Three, two, last one. Boom. Oh man, set those weights down. Check that heart rate again if you have that option. Grab some water, meet me on the mat in a plank position. You can also take this plank on the wall. You can take it elevated. You can stay on your knees. We got our plank here, team. We're gonna start with a little inner thigh cross. So high plank, tap it across. You can just bring the knees in. You can also stay on your knees, but join me right here. So we're tapping it across. Bring it in. Right through here. So that knee can just cross. You can also do all of these standing if you need to. Knee is crossing, right? So we get the inner thighs. Then we're gonna take it to outer thighs. Then we'll get some glutes. We're gonna switch it up in between, so don't worry. Go ahead and bring it down onto those elbows. Here we go. Outer thigh, right through here. Again, if you need to take this movement standing or on the wall, I know it's gonna be a lot of core, but I want you to think about those legs working. Outer thigh, outer thigh. Push against the resistance, the imaginary <laughs> resistance, right? Out. Keep that core lifted. If at any point you need to drop a knee down, just drop a knee. Five seconds, and then we're lifting towards the ceiling without arching the back. Join me here, last 30, little lift. Again, if you need a breather, drop a knee. Drop a knee. We're not arching the back. We're just getting a little squeeze in the glute, right? Maybe you wanna take your feet a little wider, but stay lifted in that core. Zip up that core. Not holding your breath, 10 seconds to go. I know, team, I'm with you. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it back, right? Feeling those quads after that lunge sequence. But we got a lot of core. Well, we got some inner, outer, and glute. All right, team, so our next round, one dumbbell or one kettlebell, we're taking it to our surrender. We're going down, down, up, and up. Then we're gonna go right side, left side, half kneeling, squat, half kneeling, squat. If that's not right for you, you can just squat to the side right through here. Are you with me? Yes, I'm gonna go one kettlebell. But you can go one or two dumbbells, you can rack them, you can have them low, but we're here, we're going down on the knees, up. If you need to modify this, you're just gonna alternate your lunge. Here we go, 30 seconds. Down and down, take it up, take it up. Then switch your legs, down, down. I know this is challenging for a lot of us, and if your knees don't feel good, again, you can just, alternate those lunges. We didn't do an alternating lunge, right? So that is not a repeat. Down five seconds. Whew. And then I want you to meet me down on the mat. Right foot, here we go. Take it up, drop it down, kneeling. Squat it up, same leg goes down. Again, you can always just step out to a squat Step out to a squat, but if you can, take it down. Squat it out. Lunge and kneel. Step up and squat so you stay low the entire time. Yes, team. Breathe. Burner. Last one. Take it other side. Give yourself a second. I know. I need a two. In three. In two. In one. Here we go, last 30. And here, squat it down. Again, this is advanced. If your knees don't like being on the ground, take it from the top. Side squat, here, side squat. But if you can, we're down, shift the weight. Push off that top heel, that front heel, leg that's in the front, right through here. Burn, five, four, three, two, I know, team, I know. Catch your breath after that. Ha ah, ha good burn. The circuit's almost over. Guess what? How about we get a regular deadlift and then a swing? We'll get a break in between, just like when we normally do swings. We're gonna go with that deadlift. Let's take a dumbbells. Dumbbells or kettlebell, right through here, and bring it up. I'm gonna go two 
heavy dumbbells. It's up to you. Shoulders back, core engaged. Here we go. Hinge, just like we did in the beginning, where we're gonna drive those hips to the back, right? It's not a fold forward. It's a hinge driving the hips to the back. Stand up straight and tall, connect with the glutes, the hamstrings, the core, the pelvic floor. Also squeeze those armpits. Imagine you're squeezing oranges. Make an orange juice, right? It's gonna help activate your lats. Keep those weights close to the front of your body like you're painting the front of your legs. And squeeze, I know. Last one, and breathe. All right, team, set those weights to the side. Bend your knees. Now we're going to a swing. If the swing is not right for you or you've never done it before, check out my how to do a swing video and just keep the deadlift. Otherwise, power it up, lock it out, let it drop. I'm going with my kettlebell. You can go one kettlebell, one dumbbell, two dumbbells, or just keep your deadlift. Shoulders back, core engage, take it low. Here we go, three, two, one, power. Let it drop, power, let it drop. Yes, team, here we go. Drive it up, let it drop. Yes. Up, drop it down. Push into those feet, lock out at the top. Remember, you're letting your chest drop, but you're not arching the back, you're not rounding the back. Four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Bring it here, team, pedal those feet. Yes, grab a quick sip of water. Heart rate is up. Woo, grab some water. Meet me down on the mat. Now, we're gonna do a couple things on the mat. We're going to be using some weights if you want and some mini loop bands if you want. If you don't have the mini loop bands, totally fine. Just use your own body weight. If you wanna just do the bands, do the bands, have the resistance. If you wanna add some weights, like some lighter weights, which I might do, we're gonna keep them close by. So join me here, team. We're gonna take that band above the knees. If you have the fabric one that's a little thicker, let's take it here. We're gonna do a bridge, just a regular bridge lift, up and down. Then we're gonna add a little press out with the knees, then we'll hold those knees up and pulse them out. So join me down here with that band. Again, if you wanna add the weights right here, you can. If that's not right for you, just keep it body weight or just keep it band or just keep it dumbbells and no band. So many things, right? Just your lift, but take those knees about hip distance apart, core engage. Here we go, up and down. Slow and controlled. I also want you to be thinking about your back and your core. So zipping up your core, even though we're lifting, we're squeezing in the glutes and hamstrings, we're also super focused on our core. Yes, we are. Here we go. Right here. Lift and lower. I know. We're gonna keep this going. But in five seconds, we're gonna add a little abduction. So pressing out with our knees away from our body. Here we go. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out. So even if you don't have a band, you can still push against that resistance. You can even have your hands here. Add a little push in as you push out. Up, push in with the hands as you push out with your knees. Yes, team, keep it going. And in about five seconds, we're gonna hold it at the top and just do that abduction, just push it out. Here we go, up and out, up and out. So we're just pushing out, but you're also lifting with the glutes. Think about that core, I know that burn. Ah! Yes, team, breathe, whoo, ah. yes, <laughs> keep it going. Burn, burn, yes, we got five seconds to go. Can you hang with me for four, three, two. <laughs> if you had that band or the weights, and even if you had neither, you're gonna feel it, right? Ooh, yes. <sighs> Set everything to the side. Here's what we got, team. We're gonna get a little stretch through that. We're gonna take that knee, cross it over. We're gonna do a little cross crunch. Tap the heel down, bring it in. We're gonna get a stretch through the hip. We're gonna get some core. We're gonna go right side, left side, then some scissors. Take it out right here, deep core. If that's not right for you, I just want you to tap or do a single-sided bridge. Here we go, here and down. Now, what do I want you to think about? 
using the core to create the movement. It's not just my upper or bringing that knee in. I want you to think that the core is everything's coming in and then little rotation, right? Here and here all the way through that core, right? Pressing that knee down, feeling the stretch from the glute that we built in just for you. Yes, team, here we go. Switch your sides, everything up and in and down. And again, you can always split this up. Maybe you just want the little lift right here. Maybe you just want the cross, but if you can, put them together right through here. After this, we're gonna take it to a scissors where we get a little hamstring stretch as well as that core. Five, four, three, two, one. Take them up right here, here. Yes, whoo, burn. Right here. You can keep those shoulders up. You can drop them down. If you're modifying, you can just get the stretch right through here. Stretch those hamstrings or modify with just the legs or just the arms. We got five, four, three, two, and breathe. Oh man. All right, team. If you've got that band, I want you to put it on again above the knees. I'm gonna go with my a little bit of a lighter band. These are short intervals. We are getting 20 seconds at a time from the knees. We're gonna lift and lower in the side plank. We're gonna do a little side, clamshell crunch, we're gonna call it, and then we're gonna lift clamshell and down. So join me here. We've got 20 seconds of each side plank, side lift with the crunch, and then clamshell and lift together. 20, 20, 20. Hang with me, zip up that core, elbow beneath the shoulders, in three, in two, in one. Here we go. Little lift and lower, lift. So lots of core in this round, and then don't worry, we're back up onto our feet. Remember, these are short, only 20 seconds. If you'd rather just keep the side plank the whole time, you can do that as well, right here. Side crunch, so clamshell crunch. It's not really a clamshell because we're lifting, we're lowering right here. Lift up and down. We're lifting through the hip, but we're also getting a little side crunch. Are we ready? Here we go. Lift in the side plank, clamshell, feet are glued together. Lift and down. Think about the core all the way through that lower oblique. Yes, you can, 10 seconds. Here, yes, two, and one, yes, team, swing those legs around to that other side. We got it all right here. All right, team, catch your breath. Side lift, clamshell crunch, and then we're taking it all lift. Here we go. So side plank lift and lower. Those knees can be a little bit in front. We just want the hips and the shoulders stacked right through here right? But not a problem if the knees are a little bit in front. Not, you're not supposed to be in a straight line there. Don't force it. Here we go. Side crunch, little lift. And here, little lift. Small movement. We're getting hip, inner, outer. We're getting obliques, top oblique this time. Yes, team. And we're going to put that side plank and clamshell together. One of my favorite combos. Then we're up onto our feet. Here we go. Take it up and down. Lift and down. Yes, team. Right here. Yes. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Take that band off. Again, if you want to get a little stretch right through here, you can. All right, team, up onto your feet. I want you to grab heavy dumbbells or a heavy kettlebell. We're gonna go back to a deadlift. This time, we're going to get a sumo deadlift. What does that mean? That means our toes are out, so a plie deadlift. So instead of a plie squat here, we're gonna take it deadlift 
here. All right, we're gonna get that. Then we're gonna go into a skier swing with those dumbbells right through here. You can go with your kettlebell if you want, if you want that repetition. All right, so we got 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Shoulder blades are back, slight bend in the knees, driving the hips back like a hinge, then bring it up and squeeze. Sumo, deadlift in three, two, shoulders packed, core engaged, here we go. Again, the weights stay close to the front of the legs. I know it's a little different with this foot position. Our muscle memory wants to do that plie squat or transverse squat, I know. But take it here and squeeze, yes. Shoulders stay back and breathe. Feel that through the inner thighs, glutes, core as we come up. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, team, so ski or swing. You don't have to do it if you're not as comfortable with it, but we're taking it back through here. Power it up, let it drop. Power it up, let it drop. Just like a skier, but your movement of your swing is still hinge, power up, lock out, let it drop. Hinge, power up, lock out. So if you'd rather keep it with a kettlebell and you're okay with that repetition, go for it. Otherwise, join me here. Shoulders back, skier swing. Three, two, one. Let it drop, up. Here we go. Glutes, hamstrings, core all the way through hang with me team i know we're on that last round after this and it's a short one it's a bonus one power lock it out let it drop lock it out let it drop don't let those arms be tempted to help it is back loaded five four three two and one swing and relax let them drop oh man team i know <sighs> Quick sip of water, clean up your workout space if you're like me. All right, team, we got one more little lunge, squat, circuit, right side, left side. We got a little core, and then that is it. All right, so one heavy dumbbell or one or two heavy kettlebells. We're gonna take it side lunge. So it's a little side lunge sequence. Side lunge, drive it out. Then we go transverse. So your transverse is your side lunge on the diagonal. That's a transverse lunge transverse squat we're gonna open up and here we're here to here all right it's gonna be a little tricky if that bothers your knees then I want you just to pulse from that plie squat but if you can here here transverse squat pulse before that transverse lunge and side lunge right side left side little core in between let's get it done all right team kettlebell or dumbbell or body weight Step it out to the side, shift your weight into it. In five, four, three, two, one. Side lunge, step it out. You can also always keep this stationary. We're going ahead and getting in the mode. You can have two hands or again, two dumbbells, but shift your weight to the side. Yes, you can. Take it out, drive it here, yes. And here, I know. So we're gonna keep this same motion, but we're gonna open it up on the diagonal. If that's not right for you, you can take it with that side lunge. Just hang it there, here we go. Step it out, step it back in. So it's diagonal, then push, turn it in. Little bit of core with that. Lots of good mobility through those hips, through those knees, through those ankles, yes. Whoo, I'm feeling this heavy kettlebell. I'm glad I picked it. Shift your weight, still to the side, to the back. And here. Yes, team, are you ready? Here we go. Plie squat. Pulse it forward. Pulse it back. Pulse it forward. Trying to stay low. Again, if this movement is bothering you, try it with no weight or just pulse. Pulse, yes you can. Get low, feel them on the inside. Feel that core, squeeze. Squeeze, ha, ah, five, four, three, two, breathe, ha, <laughs> ha. Set that weight down, team. Ah, I promised you a little core. It's also a little core cardio mobility. So let's go taps, taps right here. Join me, ha, ah, ah. ha, right here, right here. Then cross them, cross them. 
just while we rest our legs, rest our hands from holding to the side, side, side. Yes, get set. We're gonna go on the other side. In four, three, two, and one. Whoo, I better move these weights out of the way. All right, team, so side lunge, transverse lunge, transverse squat. Let's get it done. Let's finish off these legs. Whoo, let's do it. Here we go. Side lunge, 30 seconds, cross it over. Take your time. If you get two or if you get 10 in these 30 seconds, doesn't matter to me. All I want is good form, good mobility, good range of motion. I want you to find the movement pattern that works for you. Don't worry about being perfect. That's not a thing, right? Here we go. Are we ready? Transverse, same movement on the diagonal. Here we go. Sit back, shift your weight. Push out of it, bring it forward. Shift back, push out of it. That kettlebell's getting in the way, take it with two hands and bring it here. Shift your weight, it's a lunge. Yes. Remember we're gonna go to that transverse squat, little pivot or pulse, but you find what works for you. In three, two, here we go. Take it here, two hands, pivot and pulse. Even if it's just really small, that's okay too. I don't want anybody to feel like their knee is torquing. So you can also just be here or again, just pulse it down, pulse it down. Yes, you can. Here to here. Five, four, three, two, one. Ha ha. Woo, team. Grab some water, meet me on the mat. One more little core thing if you've got your mini band. Let's do it. Hmm. All right, team. Here we go. Mini band at your feet. If you're modifying, take it to a little march and then a little bridge and march up to you. But if you can, we're starting here. Join me on the mat. A little tuck of the pelvis, watch me. We're pushing away with one foot, pulling in with the other. Then we're adding our bicycle. Then we're pulsing for 15 each side. Let's do it. Tuck the pelvis, zip the core, just your legs. Here we go, take it out. What I want you to think about, staying wide with the knees and the hips, and then you're thinking with the core just as much about the push away as the pull in. See what happens when you focus on that pull in. Feel the core, right? Maintaining that good resistance. They're working against each other, right? Breathe, ha, yes, whoo, burn. Here we go, team, add that upper, cross. You can also do a standing bicycle. Maybe that is a better option for you. Breathe. Rotating through the torso, but again, not forgetting about that pull in with the knee, that push out with the foot to create that tension in your core. Back is flat. All right, we're gonna pulse it on one side, pulse the knee in, pulse the foot out, pulse with that little cross, cross. Small little movement, all focused in the center. Yes, you can. Four, three, two, switch it here, keep it wide. Pulse, pulse, pulsing in, pulsing out, crunching. Five, four, three, two, and breathe, ha <laughs> ha, take that band away. Slowly up onto your feet, team. Guess what? I think we got one more swing. For the sake of variety, if you are familiar with a handoff swing, you're gonna hand it off at the top. Hand it off at the top. If you're not comfortable with that, that doesn't feel good, pick the swing that works for you. Maybe it's a repeat, that's okay. You can do a regular swing. A lot of people really feel they get the most out of that skier swing. Dumbbell swing, up to you. If you're doing the handoff, start with regular and then find a rhythm to switch. Core engage, last swing 
Let's take it here, prep it. Three, two, 30 seconds. Power it up, push into those feet. Lock out with that core. That core, that core should be really activated because of that core work we just did. So bring it up. And breathe. And breathe, yes. Team, hang with me. Let that chest drop into that hinge, then power up through the back of the body. Push into those feet. Squeeze the armpits like you squeeze those oranges in your deadlift. And lock out for five, four, three, two, and breathe. Ha. Ah. Catch your breath, team. You know what? I think we got just enough time for a bonus move. You can keep this body weight, you can use your band. You can keep it all standing, or you can take it half and half. All right, team, here's what we got. I'm bringing that band above my knees. It's a standing jack to a plank jack, but we are adding that abduction, that inner and outer thighs. So we're going four, three, two, then if you want, jump it back or walk it back. Four, three, two, jump it back or walk it in. I don't want anybody to feel unstable, so if, you don't, if you're not comfortable going down and up with the band, keep it body weight. If you wanna keep the band, keep it up top right through here. All right, you can go low impact with a tap, high impact with a jump. We got 60 seconds, this is it team. Hang with me. Here we go. Four, three, two, careful going down. Take it back, four, three. You gotta have that band above the knees, so if it starts to slip, bring it back up. Four, three, two, strong legs, get low. Strong core and legs, four, soft bend in the knees. Bring it up, you can also do a squat jack. Four, three, stay low with it, that's a good burn, right? Take it back, four, three, two, Pop it in if you wanna stay low. Squat jack, four, three, two, burn. <laughs> I know, four, three, two, hang with me. Bring it up, 10 seconds to go. Let's maybe up and down with each. Finish it out strong, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Whoo. I know that was a long workout. You did it. Take that band off, join me on the mat. Let those knees drop to the side. Stretch into that as you let that heart rate come down. If you wanna sit on the edge of the chair or bench, if that feels better for you, go for it. Breathe. I know, I know, I feel it too. Let's take it to a seated hip stretch right through here. We're gonna keep this stretch and cool down pretty short because I know we went long today. Let me know, I know a lot of you love these longer workouts, some of you don't always have time for them and that's okay too. Press that knee down, bring that foot in. Again, you can do this on your back, you can do this seated on the chair. Let's switch your legs. But let me know in the comments, I love to get feedback from you. Did you like this workout? How did you feel? Are your legs on fire? Is your core on fire? I know mine is. Whew. I love to hear from you. Let's go ahead and flip it over onto all four stretch back and those hamstrings. And of course, leave me a comment, leave me a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That really helps me reach more people. Let's get more people moving and more people moving in a way that feels good for them, that gives them options, roll through that cat cow, that allows them to be where they are today. So, Invite some friends into this body fit community. We would love to have them. And one way to do that is to subscribe so we can get out there more. Roll back onto your feet. And of course, if you haven't already, join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club on the Body Fit by Amy app. The app is free to download. And then if you want to join us in the club, we have several options. Slowly roll it up. It's where you get all the extras. It's where I get to know you. That's where you get to work with me and our body fit dietitian. Let's get one stretch over. Thank you so, so much for being here today, team. Hanging with me. I'm so proud of you for being here. I hope you are so proud of yourself. Get some more stretching on your own if you can. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. 
That was your legs and core. No repeat workout. Great job, everybody.